Researchers in our scientific focus group share two main research interests. The first is using human stem cells to model the development of the human brain and how that might be different than the development of the brain in rodent models or at other animal models. The second research focus that all of us share is using some of that knowledge and using human stem cells to be able to model different diseases. Those could be neurodegenerative diseases or neurodevelopmental diseases. So we have about half of the people work on neurodevelopmental disorders, so things like Down syndrome, genetic forms of autism. And then the other half, I would say, work on neurodegenerative diseases, so things like Parkinson's disease, ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, and other more rare neurodegenerative diseases like Alexander's disease, spinal muscular atrophy. One of the genetic forms of autism that we work on is Fragile X syndrome, which is an inherited form of autism. We have researchers who are studying human eye development, human eye degeneration, and specific disorders that cause degeneration of the eye, such as macular degeneration. Having a focus group that only discusses neuroregeneration and disorders and development of the nervous system really enables researchers to find who on this large campus they can collaborate with and where the expertise is um, around campus. The kinds of things we've been doing in this focus group include more campus-wide initiatives. So for example, we developed T32 training grant. We've also organized two campus-wide symposia that have been focused on the nervous system and the use of stem cells. Funding has become very competitive and it's not feasible nowadays for one lab to try and do an entire project. Instead, it makes more sense for researchers to collaborate with each other, to take advantage of expertise in another lab. And in this way, the collaborative grants are becoming more successful than individual grants. One of the things we do in our focus group that has been very valuable for all of our members is we have what we call a grant club. And individual researchers can bring their grant proposal at any stage of development to the group for review. This has been really successful both in helping new investigators craft their proposals and for early stage ideas to get some feedback that so they can become more concrete. And so our focus group enables our researchers to learn about what others are doing and provides really a foundation for working together and for building on our, on our ex varied expertise.